one is Sharonda from Pay Your Weight, and today I'm gonna be reviewing Snowfall season four, episode 10, Fight or Flight, the season finale to season four, and it did not disappoint. So as promised, I made sure that I took time to break down tonight's episode with the season finale and also have a brief discussion on where I want to see season five go. So there was a lot happening. We pick up from exactly where we left off at the end of episode nine, where we see Reed is in the hospital meeting up with Franklin, and he is basically asking like, honey, he didn't say honey, but I'm just saying it in my own tone, what you gonna do about your daddy? And I was like, exactly, Franklin, cause you said that's not my father anymore. That ain't my father. So what decision is he gonna make? Um, I personally thought that Reed should kill him because I just felt like Alton, he took it too far. He was doing the most the entire episode, doing the most for these past couple of seasons, even though he did have a point at the end, but it is what it is. We see that Franklin begins questioning his mother, trying to figure out where his father is, but she lets him know, hey, I don't know where your father is, but I do know that he said, if you can get to the, get word to the shelter, they will find a way to get into contact with him. But we see that, but even before we get into the sequence of picking up from last week's episode, we see that we go into a flashback of um Alton when he was a part of the Black Panthers he like walked in clean as a whistle in his like black black outfit and basically Franklin had the teachers call the teachers called him to come down to the school because Franklin did not pledge do his pledge of allegiance and then his daddy was like that's it like I mean that is the epitome of black parents like I know you didn't just call me down here to waste my gas coming to this school for this foolishness that I don't even agree with and so you know he said you know what I'm gonna take my son out of school but we see that Franklin um, has always differed from his dad even growing up um, when he tells him that he likes his friends and he wants to stand in his school um, but I do like that he basically tells them that like hey no matter what like when you grow up and you make your own decisions just know that I'm always proud of you I love you and I'll always have your back. And so that's when we go back into present time um, where we see Franklin trying to get to his father. Um, we don't know to set him up to be killed or to try to save him from Reed. And when I say that Reed was not having it, Reed was not having it. When I heard him on the radio and he said Reed's name, I didn't forget what his real name is because I only know him by Reed now. But when he said Reed's name, I was like, sir, he's gonna kill you. Like, it's done. As soon as he said his name, I said, oh, okay, so Allison's gonna die. So let me just go ahead and make peace with that because Reed was not having it. He's blowing up Franklin's phone the entire episode. Like, what is happening? What's going on? And so essentially, Franklin goes to the shelter to look for his father. Um, and then the dude was like, I'd be like, he was bugged. Like, he wasn't gonna do nothing. He was like, I'm sorry, sir. Maybe, like, maybe you don't understand. You are here. You have a job because of me. And my money, that drug money the child frowned upon, that's my money. So you wouldn't have none of this without me. But I didn't think that Franklin was really gonna kick all them people out. I said, Franklin, you gonna kick all these damn people out? They, like, you just gonna say, you gonna take back charity? I felt he was highly disrespectful, but I guess he was trying to figure out, hey, I mean business, and if this is what I have to do to save my father's life, then that's basically what I'm going to do. But you still petty as hell for it in the first place. Um, but we see that, um, Scully is upset, rightfully so. You done lost your daughter. You done lost your girl. You really done lost your business at this point as well. And so he is out for revenge. He is looking for blood. He's looking for, frankly, anyone that he can do to seek revenge on his girlfriend, Diane. Um, but, but we're going to take a break from that. I'm going to come back to that. Actually, no, I'll go into it. Basically, Scully ends up going to the house. Um, and they get into a shootout because Franklin was meeting up with Alton at the same time. Alton got a shot off of him. Uh, Scully shot Alton. They, he basically ran away and then he ends up going up in the hospital with the gun. I said, you know what? I'm just going to spend belief and just say back then we didn't have no, uh, metal detectors, no gun checks, no nothing during a whole drug war. But you know, I'm just going to suspend belief on that. And just say that, 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 that people didn't care about our, our neighborhoods enough to put metal detectors or have security. That someone could just sneak a gun into the hospital, get to Luis's room. Luis had to try to talk him down. Then Jerome came and he telling him, I kill her, take me. Luis like, no, shut up. And I was like, no, for real, Jerome, shut up. But she ends up talking Scully down and Jerome takes them down and they really dissolve that situation um, on themselves. But I'm gonna save everything that happens later because we really have to get into, we gotta get into this whole thing with Alton. So Alton's like, hey, 
I'm going to expose the CIA. I'm going to expose everybody because the CIA killed my friend Irene. And so everybody got to pay. The white people got to pay. The government got to pay. I'm tired of them messing up our neighborhood. You know, his whole spill that he's been giving the whole time. He ain't telling no lies, y'all. I mean, I'm not going to say he told no lies. But I was like, I was like, nobody trying to hear all of that this episode. But, but, but he was speaking truth. I'm just, just letting you know. So the, what killed me was when Alta walked in the house and he was like, Franklin, and I was like, sir, are you hiding from him? And if you hide it from him, why are you going to walk in the house talking about Franklin? What? Like, what? Maybe he thought Franklin was setting him, in a, setting him up. Maybe he thought he was going to kill him. I don't know what the hell was happening. I thought he was trying to hide out because he went and got a gun out of the living room, out of the closet. But then we see that they were actually supposed to meet. So I was like, I just didn't understand why, why he was... Okay, I'm sorry. That's so beside the point. But that took me. I I had to laugh. I was like, "Why are you in the house? Talk, how you in your own house talking about Franklin? Franklin? Like what?" So they end up getting into the shootout, and but before that, he's trying to convince his dad, like, "Hey, you need to chill the hell out. Like, Reed is gonna kill you." He was like, "Not if I kill him first. And I said, "Sir, so you gonna kill a military train? Like, did?" I mean, you haven't you haven't seen all the people that read and kill, but we didn't see all the people that read is kill. Why do you think that you about to take this white man out? I don't understand. But hey, you know what, baby, I'm a ride with you because if I had an ounce of the confidence that Alton had this entire episode, baby, I'd be bagging everybody. I have everything in the world, okay? If I had a, just a mustard seed of Alton's confidence, but they end up getting into the shootout. But, you know, basically, Franklin's just like, hey, you're, I'm not about to set up no meet with you. So you're not about to mess up my business. I don't care what you own, but if you ain't on me trying to get some money and sell these drugs, you gotta get the hell up out of my house. So he was like, okay. And then he knocked him over the head with a gun. I was like, Alton, what the hell is you doing? So his mom finds him. Frank was freaking out because he just like, yeah, Reed's about to kill him. And I was just like, well, I mean, I think Reed has every right to kill him. I feel like he's been very, very patient more than he normally would have been. And he just didn't heed to any of the warnings that Reed has given him. So I can kind of feel the impatience of Reed and why he wants to kill him and why I almost feel like Reed is justified in doing that. But Franklin loves his daddy whether or not he wants to admit it because he'd be cursing his daddy's name every chance he gets. But he... um him and his mom they go to try to save him re gives him a courtesy like hey this is where i want to kill your dad just letting you know because we're friends but it's business at this point so they go back and forth they like alton meets Reed. Reed can tell like something wrong with his shoulder Alton's going through about how the government is tearing down our communities, how they are spilling drugs into our communities i mean alton is speaking facts but i was like I, like I, I just, I understand where Alton was coming from. I get it. I just felt like we could have thought this through a little bit better. Maybe he's still in shock because he got shot in the shoulder by Scully. I don't know. But that whole back and forth and then when Reed started trying to say something like talk, trying to talk smack too, I was like, hey, I, 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 shut up. Bo both of y'all shut up. So Franklin and his mom are trying to defuse the situation. And then there is a look that Reed had in his eyes and I saw the soul leave his body. You know, you just look in somebody's eyes and you saw the soul leave their body and you're like, yeah, they're like a serial killer. Or I know that they would kill someone. That's the look that Reed gave Franklin when he was about to shoot Alton. But thank goodness that Franklin mama stepped in and basically said, hey, don't kill my man or my son and we'll just go away. We'll just leave the country. Let's just leave the country. Like, do you want another body in your hands? Who wants to do that? And so I thought that Reed was going to shoot him. I personally believe, I personally felt like Reed should have shot him there. But as we see how the rest of the episode plays out, I can tell that this is more of a strategic, this is more of a strategy from Reed to not mess up the connection that he has with Franklin so they can keep the business going. Um, and he'll just get his later. So essentially they say their goodbyes. He puts the gun down. Alton agrees. He said, okay, I'll, I'll do it. Fine, whatever. And um, they go their separate ways. He told his daddy, you know, at least Alton apologized to to Franklin and he said, he, you know, he loved him. And <clears throat> I like how that was kind of reminiscent to what we saw at the beginning. I don't think he, he didn't say I'm proud of him because he's not proud of him. But 
Um, I felt that when he said goodbye to his mama, because you know Franklin loved him as a mama, okay? I felt that. I knew them tears was coming. He was trying to be strong, but I just felt it coming. But what I need to talk about, so afterwards, after Reed was just basically about to kill his daddy, after he's like, hey, what you finna do? He's like, you know, I gotta take a break for a while. I'm just like, so we just have a casual conversation like you wouldn't just try to kill my daddy? But I guess at the end of the day, he knew that Reed had every right to kill his father. It was more than gracious by letting him go. I still feel like Reed should have killed him, but t he still got it, got it coming, you know, had it coming towards the end of the episode. But this is what I want your thoughts on, guys. So he tells um, Franklin that he has to go away. Basically, you know, they told him to take leave or I don't know if they fired him or what's going on. Gustavo's going to just still be his point person, but they're going to have a new handler. So I don't know if that means Reed is like going away, like he's done with the seasons. I actually really liked him. Um, I liked his character. I thought he did a really great job and I love seeing the downward spiral of his character with losing his brother, uh, d you know, basically taking the product. I like seeing his trend, like it really his downfall in this season. Um, but I hope he comes back. I mean, I guess you get new handlers. It happens. The CIA covers up a story. They get a new person in and you start all over again. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I just thought it was really weird how casual they went back to like, just, okay. But I love how it's reminiscent to where we found them in the beginning of the season, but I don't know what's going to happen with his character, but I do hope that we get to see Reed again. But do y'all feel like Franklin mama was in on Alton getting shot? I like how he was watching the, uh, he was reading the, what is it? The spook next door. Um, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but y'all know what I'm talking about, but do you feel like Franklin's mom has something to do with it? Because I felt like she was all dressed up like, hey, I'm going to go to the market for a couple of hours. I don't know, y'all. I feel like she has something to do with it. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you feel that way? I feel like she told Reed where they were going or I, I don't know. But something just didn't sit right in my spirit with how happy she was before she left. Because I know y'all wasn't happy by that raggedy ass room that y'all was laying, staying in in Havana. Cuba, but some don't sit right in my spirit, y'all. My spirit don't feel right. And you know when your spirit don't feel right, something ain't right. But um, we see that Franklin basically has a new, whole new set of his own problems now as the end of the episode. So we see that Franklin goes to see um, Louie. Jerome fills him in on what happened with Scully. And when he tries to go see him, you know, basically Franklin's trying to talk business. And then he's like, hey this ain't the time and I was like right like sir didn't you just have a whole traumatic evening like don't you want to rest before you talk business and um Jerome basically doesn't allow him to see him so we see that Louis gets out of hospital and basically her and Jerome have made the decision that they want to go into business for themselves but still utilize um Franklin to get product as a distributor <laughs> so this hurts Franklin as as rightfully so I mean He's built this whole business with his with his uncle and his aunt. And I feel them. I felt them. I didn't feel, I'm sure that, I know that Franklin feeling betrayed right now, but Louie's been shot over some foolishness that you had going on with Leon, somebody who disrespected her in the first place, and if he wouldn't have did all of this. Like, if you would have listened to Louie with the whole man boy and Scully and just chose Scully over man boy, like she said, you wouldn't have even been in this war. And it almost seems that Franklin has become too smart for his own good. His his uncle taught him the game. His aunt taught him how to, you know, the game as well. And even though Franklin is smart and he came up with this whole business enterprise and took things bigger than anyone could have ever imagined, I feel as though that Franklin's been very, very selfish um, this season. Very selfish with the decisions that he's made, the consequences that has his consequences for other people from his own decisions. Um, I felt Louis on this. And, you know, we see that he goes to talk to Leon about it. And Leon says, like, hey, like, you know, let them do what they want to do. Basically, like, this is what you should have let me do at the beginning of the season. And it's crazy to me that after he took that advice and he says, hey, it could just be me and you. And then Leon's like, I don't want a part of this. I mean, Leon's killed a kid. He's got involved in all this crazy stuff because of a war that Franklin started that he didn't have nothing to do with. And he rightfully so he should step back. And when he basically said, no, you ain't leaving me like we're going to be a family. And I was like, didn't he just tell you not to do what you're doing to him, but you're going to do it to him, not do it to Louie and Jerome. I don't know what the hell is going to happen. But 
what I will say is my favorite scene has to be with him and Mel, which very, very, one of my issues of this season, like you started out with her to usher in Irene to do nothing with Mel until the very last episode. That just made no sense for me from a plot standpoint or a writing standpoint. You didn't need Melanie, uh, Melody or whatever. I, for, I didn't forgot the damn girl name, Mel. You didn't need Mel to do that. I didn't like that with the writing. That was an issue for me. Um, and that was going to be my critique until I actually saw him go talk to Mel at the end of the episode. But I love that he basically tells her, hey, I just want to let you know your girl, Irene, who you were snitching to, boo thing, she's dead, okay? Basically saying, I know that you were the one who sparked all of this for happening. And so he tries to give her one last chance, like, hey, you're not going to get no more chances. So say what you need to say, do what you need to do. But like after this, it's a wrap. Like you're basically, I'm going to kill you if you do anything else. And so she asked him to be a man to tell him that he killed her father. Of course, he can't admit to that. Um, but I th also thought it was weird, too, that he just puts the cane down and just start not limping anymore. Like, he's not... I was just like, okay, well, maybe he did that so she wouldn't be scared. That's just another part that just didn't make sense to me at the end. But it still looked dope watching it, but I'm just saying it didn't make sense. But I guess he said, I ain't got that limp no more. He just gonna act like the limp isn't there. I don't know, but... What I can say is I love where we find Franklin at the end of the season. I think that Franklin has always felt like he was fighting for his family, that he was always protecting people, trying to make sure that all of his family can survive. And I'm excited that he's by himself. And I'm excited that he's, he's really let go of one of his weaknesses, not the weakness that Ivy told him that greed is going to ultimately lead to his downfall. But he's not being Mr. Nice Guy anymore, that he you know, let go of this, you know, thing with Mel and his, how he cared for her and how she was like an Achilles heel from him. And even him saying like, I'm not going to let my past like disrupt what I have going on now, basically severing that tie that he had to her, the love that he had for her, even after she shot him and almost killed him. Um, I like where we see him now. I'm very excited to see what Franklin we're going to be met with, um, at the beginning of season five, but even though I'm underwhelmed that I felt like Reed should have shot him when he had the chance, out him when he had the chance. But from a, if, if that was his strategy, then I'm going to let it slide. But I like where we have, he basically has no one. And he only can rely on himself. And he's going to be even more selfish. And I'm excited to see what that means for this cast, for the season. Um, I can't wait to see season five. But I'm very impressed with season four. Oh, and then Gustavo found his boot thing, y'all. I was like, so y'all not going to bring her up the whole entire uh, episode? But I was just like, okay, I guess he gonna find her boot thing. It looked like she living life. It looked like she having a good time while Gustavo sitting up here suffering. But that's to each his own. But I do want to give a side note to Top Notch, who got um, Franklin's mama the passports for Alton. I just want to say, sir, whoever put that soul glow in your hair, I want to say your beard was glistening. Your hair was glistening. You just made me feel like I was shining like a star by the glistening, the diamonds I was seeing in your hair. Whoever did the hair for that, you're a real one. But those are my thoughts on Snowfall, the season finale, season four, episode 10, Fight or Flight. As always, my name is Sharana from Para Waits. And if you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I love you guys 3000. And until I see you again, bye.